there's a lot of misconception. There's much misconception about the concept of shadow work as there is about the concept of love and light. I send you love and light. Shadow work is not about acknowledging issues within yourself. It's about working on them. Some people acknowledge things about themselves and they become very self-hating over it. So, for instance, say in the past you did something really bad, like you, you fucked your brother's wife or something like that, or you robbed a load of money off someone, or you were a criminal that did terrible things, like stole an old lady's money or something. You sitting there going, oh, I'm a fucking bastard. Uh, I'm a piece of shit. I did this. That's not shadow work. The shadow work would be to make amends for what you did. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean making amends directly to the individual that you actually harmed. But because your karma is a balancing table that doesn't recognize individual cases in terms of, it's not like a legal system, it, ha, it karma is holistic. And, your, and the karma wants you just to do something good and uh, to make amends for it. At the same time, too, you don't become a fanatic about it. So say, say you broke into a house and you robbed an old lady's money when you were 15 and a drug addict, a heroin addict or something. And you're now in your 30s and you're married with two kids and you're going, Jesus Christ. I shouldn't have, what did I fucking do? What did I do with that poor old lady? And uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a foundation for the helping of as many old people as I can. And I'm going to go around the rest of my life helping every single old person. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But it's really trying to buy away your guilt when you think about it. Your guilt must remain forever. And I know that sounds harsh, but it's also an important thing because if you buy away your guilt, there's no guarantee you may not become a scumbag in some other way. Also, the universe knows you're trying, you're trying to like hedge your bets against your karma. The universe doesn't want you to do that. And what the cosmic order wants you to do is just say, okay, just offset that somehow, and then that'd be the end of it. Because what happens is when he sets up his foundation to help the elderly, next thing you know, he's collecting awards and everyone's patting him on the back. Aren't you a great man? He hasn't made amends for what he did. So it's a simple thing. Do something. You know, I mean, the great metaphor that can be used to adopt the child that's been orphaned. And if you, if you kill the child, adopt the child and raise it. As the child you killed should have been should have been raised and uh, and that's enough that's enough and don't be going around telling your people look what I did I, I was a cunt when I was younger uh, the prodigal son thing I was a piece of shit when I was younger and now look at me now I'm a great man I gotta make up for that that's not that's not doing shadow work either shadow work is literally literally what it means you do that in privacy and silence and if someone says to you you know you're always helping out this and that, why do you do it? I don't know, just make me feel better or just just something I feel like doing. And don't sit there going, I'm a wonderful person, I expect this to do. And that's how shadow work works. It's not about statements, it's not about platitudes, it's not about grand performances. It's about simple things because you will find that the shadow that's in you is often a product of the mundane. You found yourself running with a bad crew. You didn't necessarily set out to be a criminal, but you might end up because you fell in with a bad circle. You might have come from a family of criminals and ended up following the family business. You know, this is not necessarily you set out to do that, but you were slowly indoctrinated into it. It's like you're following orders. The whole thing of like the end of the end of World War Two. Why did you, why did you do those things? Those horrible things. I was just following orders. That's what the NPC does. 
the shadow work is to try and stay and it's very difficult to do i can't do it that much but in the moment of something of crisis rather than being dragged down to the other level shadow work would be to say i don't want to engage sometimes it's very hard extremely hard but that's part of the learning process no one's no one's going to do this perfectly overnight in one go it's like uh it's like martial arts or something or a skill or learning playing an instrument and learning how to improvise and so in within this concept of the shadow why do you service it you don't service it to you know make up for your guilt to appease your internal conscious you do it to correct imbalances within society in the culture in the con in the cosmos that was caused by your shadow to begin with you see it's a universal accounting system not a personal one and uh, that's the whole point of it and that's why a lot of people who've done shadow work don't feel guilty and uh, that you know because they've done it properly the ones done it properly and they don't feel like they're heroes because they survived them now shadow work could also be something like if you suppose look look can be something very dark but it's extremely healthy suppose you're a parent who has a severely disabled child society tells you because it's christian that you must never feel hateful about your situation you must accept your burden in life and you must accept that this is a this is your your cross to bear this is a horrible christian thing if you're the mother or father of a severely disabled child and you go down, I fucking hate this life. I hate having to look after this disabled kid. I'm a, I'm a prisoner for the rest of my days. That's honesty. And that's, 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 the most, that's a very powerful form of shadow work. Very powerful. Because what will kill you is you're saying, I must carry my cross. I must bear my cross in dignity because this that and the other no sweetheart you have every right every right to have those feelings as dark as they are because you know something those feelings will save your sanity the ones going i must have a cross to bear i knew ireland had improved amazingly as a as a culture when one time an awful tv show what well, used to be good called the late late show and they had this woman on she had this severely disabled child she was the kid literally screams 24 hours a day and is blind and will never she'll never be free of it and um, it was about it was in the, in the late 80s and prior to that the host of the show might have said aren't you a wonderful person and she turned around and he says how do you feel about it now and she goes i wish i had access to abortion so i could have aborted this child to save it the suffering and so i could have a life now, prior to the 80s, the audience would have went, oh, she's a terrible woman. She's not accepting her cross. And the audience actually clapped. And that was the moment I said, Ireland has escaped the Catholic Church. Uh, it was quite apparent that people were not going to pass judgment on, oh, you poor thing. Uh, you're carrying the wounds of Christ and all this crap. And she said, I wish I had an abortion, even a backstreet one. And that's because that was her shadow work done on. And I bet if you followed that woman for the rest of her life, she would have dealt much better with the difficulty. And things would have helped come along to help her because she was honest about the shadow inside herself. If you're in an awful relationship and you're saying, and you're putting up a front for the kids, that's going to be the most biggest disaster ever. Biggest disaster ever. The shadow work in that is, to end the relationship and then and try and explain to the kids it'd only be much worse if i stayed or these couples will have a baby when the relationship is failing to try and make the relationship stronger you know you can sit there going on about you know the sanctity of life but i can tell you for a fact that to me uh, 